know, uh, KP's video news, baby. You know what time it is. That's right. It's time for me to get back on my J-O-B. So here we go, folks. It's a website launched to connect potential homeowners with black realtors. This is Harlem, New York. Realblackagents.com. That's R-E-A-L. B L A C K A G E N T S dot com, real black agents dot com has been launched to connect home buyers and sellers with the best black realtors in every city across the country. Buying a home will probably be the biggest financial investment of someone's life, so it's important to have an agent on their side that they can trust to help them navigate the complex home buying process. Someone who is, who is great at what they do and is a proven professional, but is also trustworthy and has their best interests at heart so they can fight for our people in uh, every way possible. That's where realblackagents.com can come, can help, and that's where they come in at. Real Black Agents, a website run by an agent at the Stafford Realty Group, is a black-owned brokerage that has partnered with some of the best black real estate agents in every city across the country. If you're buying a home, their partner agents know the neighborhood from, uh, from an African-American perspective so they may better understand your requirements to ensure we find a home in the perfect location. Moreover, they can connect us with local lenders to ensure that you are treated fairly. If you're uh, selling a home, their partner agents will negotiate to ensure that you get a fair price for your property. Home ownership is the key to generate generational wealth, whether you believe in helping uh, keeping the black dollar in the black communities or simply feel more comfortable working with someone from a similar background, Real Black Agents can help. Visit realblackagents.com today and find a top a top black realtor in your city. So, you know, hey, it's, that sounds like a good thing. So if you want to write, um, if you want to um, write an email to them to try to get some information, Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to resume on the list that I started the other day. I started with the uh, list of uh, African American inventors and scientists. And uh, so I'm going to continue that list today uh, and try to, you know, try to bring you a few more. The list is so long, I have to separate it. But first, I'm going to get that tasty beverage with my uh, KP Video News Cup. Ah, tastes so much better when I'm drinking in this cup. Ah, whiskey. Anyway, back to the uh, black history lesson here. And I left off at uh, Marie, Marie Brown, which uh, invented the home security system. So here's uh, Albert Burr, and uh, he's the inventor and he created the rotary blade lawnmower. Okay. So, you know, the rotary blade lawnmower. That you know that's that's the lawnmower, the old school lawnmower that had that was kind of shaped like a cylinder and it had that little thing that, that just turned around in front of it was like a hand a hand lawnmower. And then later on they put it in up putting a motor on that and uh that's what most of your gardeners use. They use those rotary lawnmowers. They don't use that that propeller type lawnmower that goes around and around. It's the one that goes like this. And uh, anyway, uh, he had the patent for that way back in the 1800s. So that completes the B's. Now moving on to the the, uh, the letter C. Thomas Cannon led a group of engineers who developed a tap tactical optical fiber connector the first fiber optic connector deployed under battlefield conditions and the ST connector that helped make fiber optic communications affordable. William Card Cardozo, pediatrician, sickle cell anemia studies in October 1937. He published uh, immu uh, immunology studies in sickle cell anemia in the archives of internal medicine. Many of the findings are still valid today. Uh, this next one, I'm not going to even read his, man. That's Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben over there that's uh, kissing Trump's butt over there in D.C., so I'm not going to even mention what he's good for. But anyway, here's my uh, 
my shirt here, my latest one. And and as you can see, it has uh this is the DC Dunce down here. DC Dunce, that's Trump right there. And then uh that's of course you know who that is. That's President the real President Obama, and he's saying now America is great. Now that I didn't smash Trump. Anyway, on with the show. And George Washington Carver, I don't have to read him. Everybody knows who he is. Uh, George Carruthers invented the ultraviolet camera spectrograph, which has been used by NASA when it launched an Apollo 16 back in 70, uh, 1972. Chappelle Charles, elect electrician, construction international businessman and aviation pioneer, designed long-distance flight airplanes. The only African American to invent and display the airplane at the 1911 first industrial air show held in conjunction with the auto show at, at Grand Central Palace in Manhattan in New York City. President of the African American Union Company Incorporated. Wow. Building, built to design a long distance flight airplane back in 1911. Here, here. Emmett Chappelle, scientist and researcher. Valuable contributions to several fields, medicine, biology, food, science, and astrochemistry. Mamie Clark, psychologist, conducted 1940 experiments using dolls to study children's attitudes about race. Hmm. There you go. All right. So you had uh, Kenneth Clark, psychologist, first black president of the American Psych Psychological Association. David uh, Crossweight. Research engineer, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning received some 40 U.S. patents related to the air conditioning systems. And he was born in, in 1898. So that's David Crossway, the, uh, one of the guys that helped invent the air conditioner. And, and heating, heating and ventilation and air conditioning received 40 patents. Wow, that's amazing. And uh, Curtis... Uh, James James Curtis, researcher, chemist, and he's a uh, he created some or, organic energy for aluminum electrolytic capacitors. So he, he you know he came up with the organic the organic. Uh, well, I use capacitors in my guitars, and this guy here created the wet strength paper for the capacitors. So. They, uh, some of the capacitors have oil inside of them, and uh, so this is the person. Thank you, sir, for inventing that, which makes my guitar sound a whole lot better with those capacitors in there, the fluid capacitors. Okay, I didn't know that till today. John Dabin, chemist, the first black American woman with a Ph.D. in chemistry. So that's Marie. Oh, that was John. I'm sorry, I read the wrong one. John Dabiri. Uh, biophysicist, expert on jellyfish hydrodynamics, and a designer of vertical axis wind farm adapted for schooling fish. So, Marie Daly, chemist, was the first black American uh, woman with a PhD in chemistry. Mark Dean, computer scientist, led the team that developed the ISA bus and led the design team responsible for creating the first one gigahertz computer processor chip. Wait a minute. So you said Mark Dean led the team that developed the I ISA bus and led the design team responsible for creating the first one gigahertz computer processing chip. Computer scientist. Still living, born in 1957, so that makes him about 62 years old, almost 63 coming up. All right. So every time you use your computer, remember, if you got a, a computer that got a gigahertz pro computer processor chip in there, a black guy invented it. Okay. Charles Drew. Well, you know the story of Charles Drew. He's a medical researcher. De uh, developed improved techniques for blood storage. And he also created the blood mobile, and he also uh, was instrumental in them uh, using things like blood plasma and uh, things of the blood blood bank. He created 
help create the blood bank. Without the blood bank, a lot of people would have lost their lives. So that's Charles Drew, Dr. Charles Drew. Um, Annie Easley, computer science, scientist, worked at the Lewis Research Center of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that's NASA, and its predecessor, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. And I uh, see. Clarence Ellis, computer scientist, first African American with a PhD in computer science, software inventor, including office talk at Xerox. Wow. So he, he, he invented the, uh, the office talk software. Wow, we got a lot of computer, computer, uh, computer scientists here. B.C. Azora, automotive engineer, drag racing engineer, and driver. Wow. Lloyd Ferguson, chemist educator, chemistry doctorate, first received in 1943, University of Berkeley. Roland Fryer, economist, social scientist, statistician, inequality studies. Sylvester Gates, Theoretical uh, physicist worked on the super uh, supersymmetry, supergravity, and superstring theory. Man, these people are so smart, man. Sarah Good, our people are so smart. Inventor, the cabinet bed invention, first African American woman to receive a patent in the United States. So, uh, if you, people don't know what a cabinet bed is, that's you know that's like you got you have a you have like you got a, a thing that looks like a uh, what the old people call those things. It's like a dresser. It's like a dresser, and then when you open it up, a bed comes out. So she was the first African American woman to receive a patent in the United States. She was born in 1855, and she died in 18 uh, 1905. Wow. Juan Gilbert, computer scientist, awarded the first pres presidential endowed chair at Clemson University in honor of his accomplishments. George Grant, dentist, professor, the first African-American professor at Harvard, Boston dentist, and inventor of the wooden golf tee. Wow. <laughs> Joseph Graves, evolutionary biologist. Lisa Green, linguist, specializing in syntax and the study of African-American English. Kevin uh, Greenaw, nuclear energy. In, nuclear engineer, Bessie Griffin, physical therapist, inventor, amputee, self-feeding, uh, self amputee, self-feeding device. So this person created a device for those people that that had their arms amputated, that had no arms, that they'd be able to feed themselves. Oh man, we got so many wonderful inventions, and that was the last G, and the next I'm gonna start with the H's on the next show. So hey, folks. We have a rich, rich history. One month can't hold it all. One month can't hold it all. Don't forget. You know what time it is. America is now great again. Now that the DC Dutch, the DC Dutch has been smashed. <laughs>